Is a 20 year old Corvette worthy of being daily driven? Well, we're gonna kind of break it down in today's video. We're gonna be talking about maintenance costs, fuel costs, um, repair times, as far as like how often do you have to repair certain things on a 20 year old C5 Corvette. 1997 to 2004 was when these were made. Now, some of these might roll over to some of the other Corvettes, but this is something that I've had personal experience with in these Corvettes. So I am actually gonna just unravel what I've had for roughly about eight months or so um, in a Corvette and I've daily driven this car. And so we're gonna literally be breaking down the cost of all kinds of things. But speaking of cost, if you do wanna go ahead and check out uh, steadyvet.com, you can actually go ahead and check that out and we will have all kinds of stuff there. We have cup holders for C5 Corvettes. We have merchandise over there. We even have keychains that are 3D printed. So go ahead, check it out. Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you think that one of these would be able to be daily driven cost effectively? Like I said, cost effectively, a lot of people would argue no because of the repairs that you would have to do to one of these, but we'll break all of that down here and today's video so anyway leave a like on the video if you do enjoy it and let's get started so the first things that we would like to address on here obviously you do not have to go ahead and get aftermarket headlights and all of that good stuff for it to be daily driven actually the only thing that you really need to make sure is that your engine's good your transmission's good you have a torque tube that goes uh, along the car which is like the drive shaft of the car and then you have the transmission and the rear diff. Now, you're also gonna have your regular maintenance items like brakes, tires, you know, suspension as far as ball joints, sway bar links. You're gonna have all of those kind of things to tend to, AC. Um, I'm trying to think of kind of everything here. You know, you're gonna have your fluid changes and so on and so forth. So, essentially, the fluid changes for this. Now, I've actually, done oil changes a bunch on this and they're about roughly about $75 and I don't even touch anything on it like I literally just hand it over to a dealership they do the oil change on it for me $75 I walk out so I don't have to do anything else I get a multi-point inspection they look over the vehicle that is it for that now as far as the transmission and diff those are a little bit more expensive I've been quoted from multiple shops roughly about $200 for the transmission and roughly about $150 for the diff so those are really not that bad compared to some other of the vehicles. Now, we also want to talk about tires. I know you guys might be wondering as far as like how much some tires would be for this thing. Now, if you go with the Michelin's, they are going to be up there. They're going to be $1,300, $1,400, where your red, regular pair of Honda Civic tires would be about $400. So they are a little bit more expensive to go ahead and put four tires all the way around, but that is okay because you're driving a 20-year-old Corvette. Now, the initial buy-in of a Corvette identical to this is roughly in the nine to the $12,000 range. Now, this one has 100-something thousand miles, so obviously, as you go down in miles, you will get you know um, a higher price to be able to buy it at, unless you get lucky and you get one at a very low discounted price. So. You're looking at $10,000 here, or you can go buy a brand new Honda Civic for roughly about 26 or so, 24, 26. So you, I mean, if you wanna save 10 grand in the long run, you could go ahead and get one of these. You could look stylish, have a V8, and put the 10 grand back into the car, and now you've got a perfectly running basic Corvette. I mean, that's what you got. And even then, technically you could buy the Corvette like I did, and I've only put probably about 12,000 in total. That's buying the car and the total maintenance and everything so far into this car. And I mean, it's just, it's still running, runs perfect. As you saw at the beginning of the video, this thing has been an absolute dream. Now you're probably wondering about brakes. So let's go ahead. I wanna pull it up here. Let's just type in some brakes, even at advanced auto parts. Just say that you wanna buy the brakes the rotor kit and everything. Let's go ahead and just select some front pads here. We're just gonna select something pretty quick. Got some front rotors. We'll just go with a CarQuest brand. You know, we're just trying to daily drive this thing. We're not trying to go performance tracking or anything like that. 
we just need to be able to get by. Let's click this uh, here. Add the bundle. Rear rotors. We're gonna select those as well. Let's see, we'll have to select something else because for some reason it doesn't like those. We're out of stock here. And so that would bring up another question, you know, is can you get stuff in stock? Can you even get stuff? Is stuff even available for these vehicles? And the simple answer is yes. Uh, the long answer is most of it is. With some things like the window seal around the windshield, sometimes can be hard to get, but still obtainable. It's not like it's gonna be $5,000 to get one of these. So um, essentially you can get one of these uh, home delivered. So we'll just click home delivery on the cheapest one up here. Boom, complete the job. We're looking at $443 before labor. So roughly add on about $200 for labor. So you're looking at about $600 and that's a full brake job other than obviously bleeding uh, and flushing the brake lines. But if you're doing that with within regular maintenance with like a Honda Civic or anything else, it roughly will be about the same uh, because the brake bleeder is up here and then you obviously just have the bleeders at the calipers and you're done. Or the, the master cylinder's up front and then everything is the same as if you were working on a Honda Civic or any other regular car um, for that matter. So with that being said, and the long answer being, yes, I believe that you could daily drive it depending on the expense of what you're wanting to look at um, and if it's right for your budget. So that's another thing that might bring up a question is it right for your budget? And that's something that you just gotta ask yourself whenever you are researching one of these cars. Do you want to maybe put it in the shop over the weekends here and there or during the days that you're off, just letting it be at a shop, are you okay with that? Or are you wanting something that is very, very reliable like a Honda Civic or like a Honda Accord or you know a Toyota or whatever? So. Anyway, other than that, they are still very reliable cars. Definitely if you buy one and um, you know it hasn't been ragged out or anything like that. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here. I hope that you guys did enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next one, baby. Peace.